Good morning, and welcome to part 3 of the Super Mario Bros. 3 rerun on Channel 84 Winnipeg. We've left the desert, and now we're on the sunny shores of Seaside. Let's get straight to work. For a first level, this one's not too bad. You get to see our buddies the bloopers again. And, yeah. Nothing to it. Take your little shortcut if you want to pick up a free item. And of course the introduction of the blooper nurse. At least I believe that's what it's called. I think blooper chain sounds a little better. And I messed that up. Not that there's anything wrong with that because we're here to have some fun. And we live in old favors. Speaking of old favorites, this level. Thank you. I know that one's not star. This one is, though. Ah, well. Watch that one. You little bitch! Well, I'm still alive, so that's a good thing. Hmm, now the question is, do I chance going for the item, or... Yeah. You know what? Not with the risk. I don't know why I did that, but... At least no real harm came from it. And hey, I got myself an extra life. Plus, more importantly, if I absolutely wanted to, I could round up some extra items. Or use items. Speaking of which... Free Frog. How many items do I have right now? Good size. I'll put this on, and just for kicks, I'll play a quick round of this game. That one's easy. No. Hmm. Not exactly my best performance, but whatever. No big deal. I'm only using the cloud because, well, I'm not planning to skip any levels. Like the last game, I'm doing every single one. At least this way I can free up some inventory space. Oh, you bitch. What? Where'd he go? Oh, fuck off. I'm turning into a blithering idiot. Nope, didn't want that. That's the big money. Okay, gotta make a big time run for it. There we go. And even though I know there's a free life past the end pipe, I'm not going for it. The way things have been starting in this episode, I am not willing to take any chances. But on the plus side, I'm still alive. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Two chicken to fight me? Well, too bad for you. Alright. First of two fortresses in this world. You know, I always thought this background was pretty cool. And the gimmick of this castle is... Oh gosh, what's the gimmick again? Oh yeah, it's a maze of sorts. You pick the right door, you go to the boss. Pick the wrong door, and you go into the drink. There's also one door that takes you to a free life, and another one that takes you to a room full of coins. Once again, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And even though you probably didn't see it, this boom boom is the first that can fly. And while we're at it, let's play another one. Hmm. Nope. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, now we're cooking. Very good. Clear the board. And now, it's fight time. Adios, punk. And a free star. I'll probably end up using that just on a whim. But for now, let's go to level 4. I always thought this one was pretty fun. Although as a kid, I always had a lot of trouble with this one because I ended up taking needless hits for some stupid reason. Get out of the... Ugh, fuck me! You see, it's stupid stuff like that just pisses me the fuck off. Glad we take that, though. Oh, that was actually a pretty good shot. I never understood why those green spiny shells exist. I mean, I'm sure there is a reason, but whatever that reason is, it's lost on me. But anyway, another frog suit. Perfect. So in the off chance that I don't get, you know, one of the special messages, I got a couple more tries. Sweet. All right, before we use the hammer, let's go for yet another swim. You know, now that I think about it, this level would have been perfect to take the frog suit up for our test. Oh well, you live and you learn, I guess. Anyway, lots, of, lots going on here. We've got the cheap cheeps, the bloopers, Big Bertha with the little fish that comes it out of its mouth. And those happy fellas, Jelectro. No matter what you do, you can't kill them. Oh boy. But on the whole, it's not a bad level. Not a bad level in the least. And believe me, when I say that, take it to heart because there are a lot more swimming levels to come, and they're a lot tougher too. Nice. Another five lives. But then again, it's not like I really need them. Alright. Time to go for a boat ride. When I was a kid, I always called the spot Treasure Island. And for good reason, too. Yet another frog suit. Gee, I wonder, am I going to get another frog suit out of this? Yes, I am! <laughs> oh, I don't think I've gotten this many frog suits back to back. Although I'm not sure I'm going to get one here, because I'm pretty sure this one is a mushroom flower and leaf kind of deal. Fire flower. Pretty good. So, now that I've got that taken care of, let's head back to the mainland, and let's keep going with the levels. <sighs> Another moving level. Nope. Had to happen sooner or later. You know, I'm not even remotely mad about that. It happens. It's not going for deathless because I know I've done it before. In fact, a little while ago on Twitch, I actually decided to play this game on a whim. And sure enough, I actually beat it deathless. Not like I'm trying to prove myself as the best gamer out there because doing something like that, it tends to create unrealistic standards for myself. But then again, who am I to talk? At the same time, I'm also in the process of trying to 
finish Super Mario 64 completely deathless, getting all the stars. Now that in itself is an absolute bonkers move. You're coming with me. One. Ah, missed. Okay, fuck you! That was uncalled for! I'm only doing this one more time. Plain and simple. Oh, you bitch! <sighs> Who'd have thought that it was... It'd be this level that gives you the most fucking trouble! And I'm not even that far in the game yet! Oh well, whatever. I mean, it's like two lives out of... What? I've got 25 at the spare right now. Yeah, I'll be fine. But this time, I better make sure I get it right. I mean, it's not like I'm going for sheer perfection here, but at the same time, I do have something of a reputation to uphold. This is part of the fact that I'm not playing a punch-out game right now. Okay, there we go. If those are the only two deaths I sustain in the playthrough, I'll consider myself very lucky. And I suppose while we're at it... You know what, I think I'm just gonna stop talking. Because the way things are going right now, I'm gonna get spiked. And yes, pun very much intended. Oh, good. Got it. Okay, now, if I remember correctly, there's clouds over here. And there's something I didn't exactly show off in the original Let's Play. Ah, there it is. No surprise, it's Coin Heaven. But, with a twist. If I remember correctly, at the very end, you get a free item, which ends the level. Looks like I was right. And it's a cloud. Now to do it. And speaking of the cloud, I'm gonna burn it. I mean, it's just gonna take a valuable space. And now, let's go for a nice dark swim. Yeah, the murky waters of this fortress are definitely full of danger. This room in particular, ugh. When you're a kid, this is the stuff of nightmares. This last stretch in particular, pun intended, it was so tough for me. But I made that look like child's play. A testament to how strong my reflexes are these days. And if you don't care about points, Five fireballs will do boom boom in. Alright, moving on. Another dangerous swim. Look who's back. Get out of here. And no surprise if you wanted to, you could actually um, go for the coins because this is the coin collecting level. For me, I'm not really in the mood to become fish food. And that's that. Hmm. Tried to get the mushroom, but instead I, st I still got the star. You know, I think I'm gonna skip that for now. Oh yeah, that's right. 
I can get a frog suit here. But first, gotta get underground. No problem. Now we gotta go backwards of all things. Just gotta watch where I swim because obviously if I go too fast, I'm gonna run into a cheap cheap. And I believe it's possible for the winged Goomba to come down here. Or maybe I'm just deluding myself. Oh, nope! There it is! But now we're styled with a new froggy suit. And I'm definitely gonna want to hold onto this because, like I said before, if I can help it, I'm gonna try and show off the secret messages from the kings by beating the Koopalings on the airships with either this, Tanuki, or Hammer Suit. That's one thing that always bothered me in the first Let's Play, is not being able to show those messages. Who knows? Maybe with that little bit of bad luck earlier, maybe I've got a good mojo going, and I'll be able to actually do the job. I guess the moment of truth is here. But don't expect me to just tank if I take a hit. I mean, that's not my style. Hello, Japan! If you look closely, yeah, it does sort of resemble the islands of Japan. But, let's get to work. We've got a date with Wendy Okupa. She's been a thorn on my side for many, many years, and it's time to take her to school. When he hops that fast in the frog suit, he looks absolutely demented. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, that's just me. Alright. I've got to be extra careful because, honestly, I don't want to take a hit. Oh, no, you know. No, no. Get away from me. Ah! Okay, so far so good. I should be able to get to the end, and I should be able to put in a good effort against Wendy. But either way, she gets him away, she's dog food. Alright, so I'll take the high path, because I can just sneak past the fire down there. There we go. And now nothing's gonna stop me from laying the smackdown on Wendy Okupa's scaly ass. Let's rock, hot stuff! Ah! She pinned me down! Well, doesn't matter how you slice it, I still win. But how many more times do I have to do this? At present, it seems my skill is fleeting. I died twice. I failed a second time to get the secret message. Separated at birth much? Anyway, I've still got four chances to get secret messages. Although it's probably going to be a lot easier with the Tanuki or the Hammer Suit. That much I know for sure. Oh, and uh, our letter. Greetings. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. Quite useless, if you ask me. I don't like the music box, so as soon as part four kicks off, I'm burning it. And speaking of which, thanks for watching. In the next one, we're heading off to Big Island, quite possibly my favorite area of the game. Until then, this is JP of Channel 84 Winnipeg signing off. Thanks as always for tuning in to the Channel 84 reruns, and I'll see you next time. Take care, and have a great day.